Hey Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to let you know of the trials and uh, tribulations of uh, choosing a trading platform that's open source. Uh, is it Java? Is it .NET? Um, who knows? Um, originally I wanted to go with a the .NET. Then I wanted to go with a the Java. Then I'm kind of still undecided, but I'm kind of figuring. I kind of think I know what I'm after. Um, Sometimes uh, everything's all evolving. Uh, it's such a critical decision for uh, this business, and obviously for my group now we're up to 70 people because now I have to think not just for myself but for about 70 people. Um, originally, I wanted to go with a .NET app, um, but uh, just due to the fact of some of the um, Java solutions I was working with in open source, just don't cut it. Um, meaning the quick starts that I look for and the uh, documentation for each platform open source is just inadequate. Um, a lot of these developers uh, assume that you have full knowledge that you can basically think basic based upon what they write in these documentation or whatever they want to call it. It's very rudimentary. Um, and there's a lot of guessing. Um, today I spent over six hours trying to figure out how to do a complete successful build with AlgoTrader. Up until that point I was working with just binary files, meaning just only the jar or the executable versions of it, but not building it from source and then running it. Um, because I was not able to achieve that and the documentation just didn't cut it, I've um, and sadly, even though I've spent a lot of time and effort uh, researching this platform, which is quite good, I've um, had to abandon it. Um, and no different than the other platform, the Active Quant, just due to the lack of uh, proper documentation in my mind to get me up and started compared to one of the .NET apps that I've been playing with for a while, and I've been able to run it completely from end to end uh, with data connection for from market data being able to load up each and every uh, application within the, the uh, suite of applications. Not only that, but able to uh, test a uh, strategy uh, in, in, in a DLL, in a dot, this .NET app, or for HFT. So um, that's fine. Um, I know that one works. Uh, but the Java ones, sorry guys, I just didn't get it working for whatever reason. I failed. I spent a lot of time, and I've also got seven years, eight years. Java experience behind me. Um, and uh, I've abandoned two open source Java platforms. I don't think I want to look at Java anymore for the platform, the trading platform. Um, I have shown that some, or some other uh, Java apps seem to work okay. Um, namely the uh, Web Curve Simulator, which is my stock exchange simulator, so that seems to be just fine. Um, and uh, that's going to be an important factor in my uh, uh, suite of uh, components, you can call them. So right now I've definitely got the dot, dot .NET high frequency trading platform. That seems to work fine. Uh, I can capture data from uh, IQ feeds. I'm able to connect into uh, interactive brokers, no problem. Um, I've got vi uh, videos to show that, and that is also built from source. So that works. So that's definitely what I'm going with. But the problem was up until now is being able to tie in um, how to have a uh, the, the the HFT platform from within .NET be able to call Java um, test classes for this uh, simulator. Well, good news. I I f figured a way to do it uh, in my previous video to this one. I show that um, using a tool called IKVM. Um, and it seems to work fine, um, so I'm hoping that that will uh, at least be able to give me the ability to have my high frequency trading platform do all the analytics, all the modeling, and at the same time with that strategy be able to call a uh, the web curve simulator, the exchange simulator, um, or at least the test classes, um, and then be able to test these strategies from that. So I'm kind of excited to know that that is possible. Um, in terms of the uh, AIO V2 
visualization software, being able to build that from the source is another question. Um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to achieve that fairly soon. Um, I think I was able to do that, but uh, I gotta double check it because everything just seems to constantly evolve. Moral of the story is, all out of all this, is um, if anybody out there is gonna do a Java, any, any open source, doesn't matter what language, if the documentation blows, if it's very difficult for somebody like me to develop and work from that, and there's very inadequate documentation, I'm not going to sit there and uh, spend countless hours and, and basically uh, spin my wheels just to try to get something accomplished by guessing at it. So if the project is very difficult to get up and running, or there's lack of documentation or there's uh, errors in the process, I'm going to quickly uh, abandon them. But this is just a message to all my uh, members and people who follow me. Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, the HFT platform is just a, a, a nightmare to work with, but um, just all this whole process over the last couple of weeks is trying to tie in uh, the, the actual trading platform um, and how it will be able to connect and talk to the uh, exchange simulator. I'm hoping I've uh, accomplished that. And the next step is to get the um, the uh, the um, uh, AIO AIO uh, a uh, package running and get that built from source. So hopefully that'll work. Other than that, I'll talk to you later. Sorry to put you through this.